in 2024 restate your purpose to your partner tell them what you want to do in life tell them what you believe god has created you to do hi everyone you're welcome to just light and today i'll be sharing with you some relationship goals that you can set in 2024 but before I go on, I'd like to thank you guys for the congratulatory messages. Your girl is now a mom. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for congratulating us. Um, God has been good to us and we just thought to share our testimony. It's not like Just Right is going to be doing vlogs on um, pregnancy and whatever comes our way. We'll, we'll strictly be talking about relationships and how you can please God while you're in a relationship. If you are yet to subscribe, please do that now. And if you are new here, you are very welcome. So let's start. The first goal you can set in 2024 is that you will choose to follow God no matter what. And this involves deciding who to be in a relationship with, when to get married if you're already in a relationship, when to start preparing for your wedding, just simple, simple details choose to follow god no matter what and the best way or practical ways that you can do this is to pray to god study the word of god and be obedient trust me right now i do not feel like <laughs> recording anything but i know that this is what god has assigned me to do and i must do it and i'm very grateful for my husband who keeps encouraging me to do these things so yeah so choose to obey god no matter what choose to follow god no matter what and specifically yeah let's talk about people who are single your heart may be going one way another way wherever your heart is going to just decide somewhere in your heart let the basis of your decision be that you are following god's instruction per time then after you have chosen in your heart that you're going to follow God and that you're going to obey Him, not even choosing to obey, deciding, or how do I put this? You must practically obey God, yes. Not just choosing your heart that, oh, I want to obey God. Practically obey God. Make steps by faith. Do things that will propel you towards the instruction or towards where God is leading you. And it's not just enough to desire a good marriage trust me what makes up a good marriage is a good man and a good woman and then the holy spirit and so you must choose to be a good person for whoever is coming your way or whoever you are in a relationship with study what a good woman or a good man should be doing how you're supposed to behave in marriage what you're supposed to be doing in your marriage you know sometimes you hear people say things like i cannot do this for any man i cannot do this for any woman sometimes those things are coming from a place of spite the holy spirit will not cause you to say things like that in fact you'd be looking forward to serving your partner trying to wanting to show them what your heart is filled with being a good man or being a good woman for your spouse is having a heart of service towards them wanting to know how you can serve them what you can do to make them better and not just always seeking what you can get from a relationship basically so it's not just enough to desire a good marriage you must desire to be a good spouse to your partner too yeah and i think one thing that um people sometimes underrate for godly relationships because i always say this that when people mention godly relationships they think it's just a relationship that is void of sex no it's a relationship that the assignment is propelled towards achieving god's purpose god's desires you're just after the heart of god basically that is what a godly relationship is and so in 2024 you and your partner should have an assignment it doesn't have to be just evangelism because everybody is assigned to do that it can be visiting um special homes it can be giving towards a cause it can be anything just pray to god to give you an assignment in 2024 so that your relationship is not just one where you are avoiding sin but it is one that you are exalting righteousness basically your relationship becomes an example to other people and not just for yourselves alone you're welcome in 2024 restate your purpose to your partner tell them what you want to do in life tell them what you believe god has created you to do everyone has been created to bring glory to god but there's a specific purpose for which you have been created discuss these things 
with your partner let your partner to introduce themselves to you it was something that i did when or that we did when we started dating we had this um is it going to be is, was it a mock interview it was just something where we had a session where we introduced ourselves like we never knew ourselves i am among me i am this i love to do this this is what i believe god is asking me to do and then you can ask the question or the next person then ask the question how can i help you to achieve this yeah so try to do that reintroduce yourself to your partner if you are single plan to do that too don't just assume um that this person already knows you because you were once friends and now you're dating once you start dating or courting a person reintroduce yourself to them restate your purpose to them so that you guys know that we are running towards somewhere and we're not just dating to marry even though that's one of the goals of being in a relationship yeah if you have done all of these the next thing for you to do is not to shy away from difficult conversations trust me whether you um, what's the word? Whether you bring up difficult conversations or not, they will always come up. So instead of waiting for difficult conversations to come up, just bring them up intentionally when everybody is still in a perfect state of mind. So do not shy away from them. Difficult conversations can propel you towards the purpose of your relationship and they can clear up your eyes, they can clear up the vision for your relationship and help you to know better what to do and what not to do in your relationship as well and um there are tips on how to have difficult conversations which we may do or uh, yeah in another video finally which is the interesting part for me go on dates go for events go for worship shows what again just do something fun in your relationship choose to intentionally have fun godly fun of course so yeah these are the things i believe that you can do in 2024 in your relationship or as a single person i hope these points were useful to you and then i hope that you will share them with someone that you believe 